in the AFC South, and that would semi-local be... Semi-local team? Can we claim them as the local yeah, team? Yeah, we're going to claim them. I mean, it's a, we, look, we're based around Memphis. Uh, we love Nashville. We don't see ourselves as a stepchild yeah, this of Nashville. Is, this ain't a rivalry. We, no, we're no, all no. good. We uh, we like the Titans. We pull for the Titans. So yes, sir. Titans, uh, Tennessee Titans went nine and seven last year. They have gone nine and seven for four straight years, dating back to a, a different head coach ago. Uh, Mike Vrabel enters his third season. Their win total this year is eight and a half. To go over is minus one fifteen. To go under is minus one hundred five. So they lean slightly to nine wins as opposed to eight, uh, which makes sense because they've done it for four straight years. To win the division, they are plus two hundred. Um, Let's go through the stats right quick. Offensive yards per play, 6.0. That was good for number five in the NFL last year. Defensive yards per play, number 16. Gave up 5.5 per play. Turnover margin was number five. That's really good. So they uh, they gained half a turnover every single game. Uh, they signed Tannehill to a, a really massive contract. They signed Derrick Henry to a four-year $50 million contract, which I good think was, was good pretty contract. good. Uh, I thought it was good as well. A.J. Brown, uh, I think he might be poised for a breakout year this year. I mean, the second half of last year, he really uh, opened up once he figured out that offense. Uh, they drafted running back Darrington Evans in the second round. He is going to be the backup for Derrick Henry. Yeah, he he is not touching the field. At, you don't think he's touching the field at all? Hell no. They are going to make Henry a three-down back. Oh, I, I would almost guarantee that. But I do think you have to spell him at some point, oh, right? Oh, well, yeah. So, yeah, yeah okay, he's going to okay, see the field. But okay. He has, he has virtually no value other than this guy's going to rest, we're going to pass the ball. Pretty much. Pretty much. It, it's kind of – it's what Deion Lewis turned into, right? Oh, so, Deion Lewis was – at least – but the difference is is Deion Lewis could block because he'd been in the Patriot system for long enough. He knew how to block when they weren't going to give him the ball. And I think that um, that's why they gave Darrington Evans – or they, they drafted him. I think that's why they drafted him. The is, problem uh, is, is he's a rookie. Rookies never know. Rookie agreed. running backs are the worst blockers in the world. Tannehill get killed if they do. But well, he was he was at App State. He learned under Satterfield. Like I, I trust this guy. I mean, looking at the film and whatnot, he rookies just don't know how to do that, Gary. You you might be right. You might be right. But I I'm gonna trust him. Uh, defense signed edge rusher Vic Beasley. So that's good because uh, they lost Logan Reed. They and, need uh, the help on that defense yep, bad. And they the lost Jarrell Case. Um, and they are like the the leaders for. The um, oh good gracious, what is it? Um, for the Jadavian Clowney sweepstakes. So I don't, I don't but know I don't what know who wants that. man. Yeah. I don't know what Clowney wants. I don't either. I mean, it it, it doesn't make any the sense. The Browns have made a him a one year, two year, three year, and four year deal, all around seventeen million dollars a year. Yeah. And he has said no to all of them. So he don't want a short deal. He don't want a long. deal. I don't know what the hell he wants. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? He wants twenty five million a year is what he wants. Yeah, I uh. So going through the schedule, I've got them going ten and six, but I think I'm a little bit biased. I, if I were going to do it, I'd probably do nine and seven again. Well, okay, yeah, that's not crazy. I got them nine and seven. I think that's what this team is. And I'll tell you this: I that turnover margin is going to regress. They're going to go below so back to the mean. They're not getting all those turnovers anymore, and they're going to actually start turning the ball over at some point in time. It's just a numbers game. Ryan Tannehill turned the ball over a little bit in, in his past life. He he didn't just magically forget how to do that. Um, the offense protects him a lot. Henry doesn't turn the ball over. That's good. But but at some point in time, if they keep throwing more, if they get into games where they have to throw more, the turnover margin is just going to regress back to the mean. Yeah, okay, and you, you might be happen. right about that. One thing that we did have last year, that offensive line was really, really good. Remember, they lost Jack Conklin, uh, and they, they brought in draft pick Isaiah Wilson, and they if, expect if Wilson you, to play immediately, and he's a rookie. Yeah. If you would have asked me, and this might be where some of the Jags' wins come from. If you would have asked me what I thought this team's record was, I would have said seven and nine or eight and eight because I believe Tannehill is going to regress back to the Tannehill we've seen in the past more. And you cannot do what they did in the playoffs, which is run Henry for a season. That's yeah. not possible. It, it, it's a, you know you can be Superman, but at some point in time, we're all man. So. Yes. Um, it, it's it's just not realistic. Uh, I I think when they're not able to do that, I think Tannehill is going to show his true colors. I think he's a good quarterback. I don't think he's anywhere close to worth what they what they pay in him. Oh, I I agree with you. I, agree I would have you. never gone all in with Tannehill. Oh, ever rookie you know. quarterbacks come in just too damn good. Yeah, it it made no sense to me. It made no sense to me. All right, let's move into the. End. 